Hello, this is Guinea Pig Uber, and I'm going to be showing you how to prepare for guinea pig or guinea pigs. In the first category, I'm going to categorize it with food. Obviously, you're going to need food. Um, I have mine in a container like this. It's just little green little pellets. That's what it looks like. And that's that. And uh, what else you're going to need is hay. Timothy hay or like just a bale of hay. We use a bale of hay so we grow ours. Um, what we're obviously going to need is a food dish. And this one is pretty heavy. Um, it's a crock pot actually. And they don't um, crack or break. So that's what I like about that. You're going to need a water bottle. Um, this was for the Gimborn pet specialties. Um, you're going to want one like that and mine is seven ounces it holds seven ounces because my guinea pigs don't really drink a lot another pet feeder you can use is this it says rabbit feeder but we use it for our guinea pigs it has a screen down here and you put the food in here in this hole here I'll show you, you put the food in here and it comes out this end it comes out over here we use this too because we had to cut a hole in my cage so it would stick through. Because like if we're out on vacation, um, these work. Because after if you stuff it to the top, if you stuff it up to the top, then when they eat it'll fill it up themselves and then our neighbors just have to come over about like once every three days, maybe. My guinea pigs eat a lot, though. They're fatsies. Okay. Now, and then, in the next category would be, like, toys and housing. Um, here's a toy that is, like, the most used in my guinea pig cage. Um, they use this a lot. They chew on them. I get refills all the time. That's why these are, these ones are brand new. Um, this is what it is. Um, they have little chewable, edible sticks. They are apple and banana flavored, actually. Um, there's different colors, though. Like, I have some for refills. I have sticks and little cubes. Um, it has a little bell, so when they chew, they can just hear. And you can actually just clip it onto the side of the cage, and it'll work. So... The next thing I have is this little ball. It's plastic, and they actually can't chew through it. Um, it's actually a ball with a ball inside of it, and then a ball inside of that. So it's kind of complicated, but it's just like this. My cat would never play with it. It's actually a cat, so I bet my guinea pigs like it. So Then next, I have this. You can just like lay it in the cage, and they'll chew on the edges. This is brand new, too. It's actually just another thing of this right here. This one. It's just one without the two on the sides. Then in the housing, I guess you would say. Um, you really need a Heidi Hut because they need a spot where they feel comfortable. And if you have your guinea pigs by a window, like I do, um, you, they're going to have a lot of sun on them. So they're going to want a little Heidi Hut. I will show you in a few seconds how the wind, where my window is. Okay, so here's the cage. I took all their toys and stuff out of it because I was actually cleaning it today. Okay, so there it is. And my guinea pigs are actually at a show right now, so that's why they're not here. Um, there is my cage, and then there's my window. So when I open it, if you look down here... They're going to need some space to themselves, like shade. Okay, so I recommend this book if you're going to get guinea pigs because it kind of tells you, like, where to get your food, what's the best food, a brush, all that, all that stuff that I pretty much just talked about, and the vegetables that it should eat. Here is a list of the vegetables. And the ones on the bottom are the ones not to eat, so you can pause the video right now if you want to. These are all the ones that you they can eat. Um, carrots is not on here. 
carrots. They can eat those too. My guinea pigs will love carrots. And if you're getting guinea pigs at a pet store, I didn't get mine at a pet store, but I just picked up one of these pamphlets. Um, it just talks about guinea pigs and what, like right back here, they have a list if you want to get really technical. They have a list and it just talks about, you know, stuff like that. You're going to see me put things in the bin over here. Because I want to show you some things around my cages. My guinea pigs tend to pee outside of the cage. So what I do is I put these things. I don't know if you guys can see these. But I don't know if you guys can see that white thing. It goes all the way to the back of the cage. It's actually just a tote top and like on the sides they'll pee and then it goes like there and then on this side I have one right there and it goes all the way to the back my blankets are really close um let me get that away and you can see how big my cage is like there's my bed and here's my cage. I have it right beside my bed because my guinea pigs are all mean a lot to me. So, um, I think that's all. And I'll probably be posting another video today on how to make guinea pig toys out of these. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.